contestant, 13 will forever be her lucky number. Our 13th finalist is North Carolina. My grandma has had a huge influence on my life. She was the head of the FBI in LA. First of all, her office was amazing. It was bigger than their home. She had her own private panic room. And she takes me to this wall of 50 men before her. And on the bottom of the wall, she was the first woman to become the head of the FBI in LA. I'm so proud of her. It's a huge accomplishment. I really look up to her and try to break the glass ceiling the same way she has. As a woman, I feel like I have a huge responsibility to not sit back, not let my voice be restricted. If you're passionate about something, you really can make a difference. North Carolina! North Carolina! I love this. North Carolina has said from the moment she came here that she came to win, and she has proven that. Again, not one of my taller girls, but one of my stronger. Heading into the next round is... North Carolina! North Carolina! North Carolina! Speaking of color, what a color! North Carolina is owning the runway right now in this beautiful strapless dress. Her face, look at that, look at that. That's a universe face. Georgia! Still in the running for the crown is... North Carolina! North Carolina, please come join us at center stage. Hey there. Your question tonight comes from South Dakota. Hi. The Boy Scouts recently decided to accept girls into their organization. Do you feel this is a positive change, and do you think that there is value in single gender organizations? I think this is a great change. I think we are in a time in America where, not America, we're at a time in the whole world where gender equality is a huge thing. I believe in 10, 20 years from now, women and men are gonna be complete equals, and we are making those steps right now with, with the Boy Scouts. Thank you. Okay, thank you. South Dakota. Please join us for your question. The next contestant who still has a chance to earn the title is... North Carolina! Okay, please remove North Carolina's headphones. North Carolina, please come join us. Hi! You ready? I am, I was just jamming out to Pitbull. <laughs> Here is your question. You're on your way to a march and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign and why? I would put on my sign, your body, your rights. As someone who was sexually assaulted, as someone who stood up and fought against my perpetrators, I am all about marching for your body, for your rights. Nobody ever has the opportunity or has the right to touch you, to drug you, to do anything, to sexually assault you, harass you. That's never acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Carolina. much, North Carolina. Okay, please remove Nevada's headphones. Hey, Nevada, please join us. Your hand brushes mine And a thousand sensations Seduce me cause I I do Cherish you And for the rest of my life You don't have to think twice I will I will love you still 
Two women remain. Ladies, please take center stage, Nebraska and North Carolina. One of you is only a moment away from being awarded the crown. Now, if for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Goosebumps. Both of you are strong, beautiful, and deserving women, but there can only be one winner. Miss USA 2018 is Nebraska! Congratulations, Nebraska! Take your first walk as the new Miss USA.